Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Talflator Mouse. I was uh, contacted by a company called Broadhead Bullet and they wanted us to do a little prototype testing of a new hunting round. Now since this is the kind of stuff that we love filming, just unique shotgun rounds such as this, we took them up on the offer and tested them out. Now this target is about 25 yards away. Darren had already done his test shot shooting a wax lug at a small cement block just to make sure he was on target and he was dead on. Now he'll be shooting at a box of sand measuring about 10 inches by 10 inches. Now I'm sure the company's wanting to know how straight the projectile's flying, if it's rotating, uh, what the Sabo pedals look like when they separate, if they separate cleanly, if the wadding separates cleanly, all that stuff. So we set up our three cameras at all different angles trying to capture everything that's going on in flight with these rounds. Shot two, when you're ready. This round definitely we saw some improvement. It was spinning like a top as it was flying and it went through that box of sand. That's 13 inches of sand. If you remember in a previous video we shot this same box with a federal deer slug and it just stopped it. So these things have amazing amount of penetration. When you consider that the shotgun just has a big bead sight on the front and really no rear sights that's not too bad. Where'd it go? Where did that hit? I don't know. I saw dust. Out of the three rounds, this was the best. He was on target right there. We didn't know where it hit because it hit on the black print of that sticker. And again, the round went right through that 13 inches of sand. Now out of all three rounds, this one was uh, the most stable. And it really didn't rotate that much in flight. When it initially was shot, it did a couple rolls, but it flattened out and it flew straight. There was almost no drop at all. These things definitely look promising to me. Now this first shot, the round went into the box and then it did a 90 degree turn and shot straight through our table. The other two rounds did go uh, horizontally right through 13 inches of sand. And with that amount of sand, you're gonna stop a lot of rifle rounds too. Anyway, we just had a lot of fun making this video and we hope that the data that we were able to film will help with the evolution of the eventual final design of this round, which is supposed to look something like that. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.